It's called SAD, Students Against Destructive Driving. And some Durant teens have started a chapter to help heal and save lives. K-10 News at 10 for your Friday night starts right now. Four Durant High School students are killed after drunk drivers slammed into their stopped vehicle Memorial Day weekend. Good Friday evening, everybody. I'm Bob Brickheen. And I'm Bailey Bates. And for Lasanne, I spoke to some Durant teens who are using their grieving process to spark change. The lives of four teens taken too soon, leaving an entire town in mourning. When it actually happens to you, you kind of just like, you really start to understand how sad it is and how much you would never want anything like this to happen to anyone else. Caleb Foster, Jack Sarver, Fernando Flores, and Hunter Ford were killed after a drunk driver struck their stop car in Durant. I had four boys that were doing nothing wrong get hit by a drunk driver because on a decision that could have easily been ignored and a problem that could have been fixed quickly. The tragedy has Durant High School students on a mission to save lives. If we just save one person like from going out and partying, that could save multiple people. A new chapter of Students Against Destructive Driving, or known as SAD, is now operating in Durant. An opportunity to teach about risk and pressures and to put safety and health first. I want to bring awareness to what can happen when you make destructive decisions and like how many people can get hurt just caused by one person. It's not just about driving while intoxicated. Destructive driving could be drugs, speeding, or even road rage. This is a huge problem all over the U.S. because I know it's not, it's kind of ignored right now and I don't want it to be ignored anymore. These students don't want anyone to have to go through what they have gone through after losing four of their friends, but also know this is what the four boys would have wanted. I feel like they would all very much be grateful and enjoy it so much, and I guarantee you every single one of them would be a part of the organization. Using a horrific crash in a time of grieving to spark change and save lives. They wouldn't be as sad about what happened if it had happened to somebody else, if something so beneficial came out of it. The students are raising money to help get facilities to rent and possibly host a state convention in Durant.